What's up guys, I'm back with a quick update video here. So, tonight, obviously we got motor training in. Um, ended up going with a Turbo 350 from a buddy. Um, I'll end up covering this plug wires or cutting the firewall out more because that'll hit. But We have HD motor mounts in here. I do not know if that's legal. It'll end up just hurting us more in the end due to breaking our bell housing. But hopefully those pass, if not... I mean, gonna run chaos. But I got uh, power steering lines hooked up. My brother got the belts back on and uh, that slid down a little bit. Anyways, he got the belts back on, put the fan on, spacer. Um, we got fuel line ran. I built these headers. Nothing special. Definitely not perfect. But we wanted to be loud, so there we go. I'm gonna, that one's tow it out and the engine's not perfectly level in there but I'm going to put a crossbar in there so our hood we can view our hood over it because when he ran a Lincoln my teammate ran a Lincoln last time the hood went down and got into the water pump and radiator or fan water pump and fan and stuff um so I got the fuel line ran the training lines are hooked up training cross members in fuel pumps in there. I got it bolted back. Bolted back in there and then our fuel line runs. Got the overflow put down in the floor. Um, I'm gonna end up cutting the floor back for my cable. I'll cut it back more so it's a less of a steep angle through there. It's kind of a putting it in a bind right now, but I adjusted the shifter. Ended up going with a different shifter because I'm running a 350 instead of a 700R4. Got the throttle cable on there. My brother did that. I'm going to run a heavier spring up front, but there's that. Um, I've been trying to get brake lines to work. Need both these. My flare tool only does like the brass or copper lines or whatever they are instead of these steel lines so I might just end up running because we run a nylon brake line kit from Speedway so I might just end up running that to the back brakes and just run one as long as it stops I don't care but hopefully I have the right fittings to be able to get into that back there um, gotta tighten motor mount bolts yet wire it I put a new filter in the tranny. I was gonna put the slider in tonight, but I didn't. Um, got the clip, got the clip put on here. It's just kind of roughly on there, not perfect, but you can see it's tilted pretty good. I'll get a tape measure, measure it for you guys. It's sitting about okay. It's at about eight and three quarter, eight and a half, but there's a little gap there, so it's probably eight ish. Um, the side's closer. Nope, oh, that one's over nine, but you can see. Oh, that door runs pretty true. I think it went a little uneven. So it's looking like this this rail went down about a half inch more than that side. Which, since it's a Russia build, I don't really care. But So yeah, it's, a, it's tilted pretty good. I'll get the front clip leveled up probably tomorrow. And I'll end up putting door plates on. If, the, if I can even get up here because it's starting to drift. And after wind chill, it's weather weather app said it's going to be around 56 below so that's not going to feel too good but got uh need to put harnesses in yet door plates um i'm gonna run this one i got it from work but i need to extend it because it's it's already ran through the bennett whatever you need to take door handles off weld the door plates and then i can I think I'm, i I got to read the rules on how much I can weld the driver's door because if I can weld it more than just a door plate, then I'll 
we'll put some place down there so it doesn't peel on them take out my legs but it's coming along slowly but surely um, I'll get spacers built and they gotta wire it yet gotta put hopefully gonna have it running tomorrow but I am not for sure on that um, I gotta rotate the water neck get the radiator put in here and that core support looks like it's bent a little bit so I might just strap that and then I gotta bolt the AC condenser on here hmm. paint it harnesses wire it radiator core support hood I don't know getting down to the end it's coming along I gotta weld the rear diff yet and get the brakes going but it shouldn't be too bad um, and pop the rear window out it's always good to leave that till after everything's put in the car. And then hopefully if it's not as cold as last year, I'll have the GoPro in here. Last year, or yeah, it was last year. We tried recording our duo car run and it was so cold that my camera died due to the temperature. So I'll try and do that. But I think that's about it for today's video. I'm not sure really anything else to talk about, so please like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see more of. Thanks.